person without revealing too much about where I was at that I just could because I'm obviously I'm fine. Um, you know, and I think that the, ne that the next four years are going to be great, but that, you know, it was just something about the boxes yesterday. And even after you left, I was in there for a little while. I think I came back. It's just, yeah. there's some behavior by some people, the fanaticism. I just, yes. don't it's, it's the fanaticism and it's also the anger. Yeah. Like, listen, <laughs> We used to be able to all break bread and vote for whoever we wanted. I don't know why. Love it's each other still and it's fine, right? But we would sit down with a Muslim, a Satanist, a Christian, a Catholic, an atheist. Everyone could all respect each other, understand we all have different values, and we could all break bread. I don't know when this divide happened where if you like someone or you like someone's policies, you're automatically this or A, B, and C. Why and when did this happen? Yeah, like you didn't even say anything yesterday and people were atta immediately attacking you. I know. I thought that was wild. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And we're too old for this. And I never said I was a Republican. I just said that I like a lot of Trump's way of thinking with business and that our, the inflation in this country is fully doomed. So I didn't fully agree with what everyone was saying yesterday, but that's okay. I didn't have to. I could still respect Dominic and Ken and everyone else, and we could all have a nice conversation. But girl, some people were getting uppity yesterday. <laughs> yes, but I don't care. That's the gag, y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Kamala's, you guys, I can't. If she would have won, y'all, it would have been so bad. The inflation, the gas prices, the food. Do people not realize, even if you have money, that we're all doomed, essentially, if she was going to be in office? Come on, y'all. And it's okay if you don't agree with that. I don't think that people with less money understand that. I don't think that they can see it from the same perspective of people who are focused more on economy and financial, you know, on the on the policies from that standpoint. I don't feel like they grasp that. And uh -huh. I can understand why, because I kind of came from that world. But yeah. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> That's oral hygiene. We love that. Bitch, your birthday is coming up real quick. You, Listen, do people so still hard. ask you what you want for your birthday? Like, Jeffrey, what do you want for your birthday? They do a lot, yes. Okay, period. Um, I think because I'm me, people overthink it. Oh, for sure. Like, I definitely don't need a Louis wallet. I don't need a dumb designer thing. I don't like, I like things that are personal or, you know, I, a handwritten note, real, you know, nice flowers, things like that. Yeah. Things that are cute inside jokes. Wow. Like I don't need, I don't need a fucking coin purse or a <laughs> pair of shoes. <laughs> Hi, Dana. Um, I did need Trump to win though, so that's an early present. <laughs> I'm screaming. Let me say one thing. I think that some of these quote quote alleged supporters aren't fully educated and that's okay. I'm not fully educated on every policy of our country either, but I think it's funny that some people are acting really surprised that when all the results started coming in, like, no, 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 no. Social media tricks people into thinking we all think a certain way. Yeah. Most, um, uh, you saw how many people showed up at those polls to vote for him, baby. They are tired. They are tired of how this country is ran. The la yeah, the last four have been rough. It's been so brutal. We don't even have a real president. And let's be honest, she was vacant for the whole time. What did she do this entire presidency? Never saw her. She never came out the house. That's why I was like, there's no way she's going to win. You don't, y'all don't even know her. She had a hundred days to run. No one knew a fucking thing about her. That. To be but honest, 
I'm not yeah. gonna lie, I didn't pay attention either. Yeah, I couldn't tell you one thing. She never did anything during Biden's office. That's the gag. We never saw her. And that's why a lot of people did not believe she was going to make a change. And then her interviews were awful. She did a really big interview where they asked her what she would have done differently. And she said not really anything. And that was the nail in the coffin. Y'all think I don't know? Oh, I'm very awake. I just don't talk about it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just be thankful, you guys. Just be... <laughs> I know a lot of people are worried and doom and gloom. No, 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 no. We needed this. Macy, I'm screaming. Yeah, no one knew her. We literally just... She covered for Biden when he was getting dementia, and no one still has admitted from the government that he has dementia. <laughs> Poor Joe. Honestly, poor Joe Biden. He really struggled through the last, he, every step he took. Yeah. Struggled. He also said he didn't like GAY marriage and then completely lied on that and flipped just for mm -hmm. voters. Uh huh. Girl, you never supported us. Sarah broke with the heart, me. So I think it's going to be really uppity today. It is. And if you want to go live and not talk about it later, you don't have to that you know yeah during boxes yesterday afterwards people were getting too hyphy i'm like can we just do makeup <laughs> okay they're like yelling at Xtina. i'm like she's blending she doesn't care <laughs> literally all night long without and it's the, yeah i just think it's funny how people assume because i'm you know a cute a pretty boy and i do what i do i'm a boy who does makeup uh, that they just already have me figured out and where I'm at on things. And I'm like, oh, dear. But you know what, Paul? It's okay if you're in the middle as well and you don't fully have it figured out or you don't fully believe in someone. That's okay. That part. <laughs> yes, it's a new account. Davila, if you don't like me anymore because of who I voted for, you can block me now because your respect for me has vanished with that disgusting comment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kamala did not control women's rights. She was never going to fix anything. And Trump simply said, leave it up to the states. He never said A or B, so. I'm not a full Trump supporter. I don't support anyone but myself. <laughs> okay. But as far as a financial and a business person, we were going to be doomed if she was in office, y'all. You would all get more poor. Things would get way higher. Buying a home would be even way harder. Yeah. And this is what I will, wanted to explain to people, too. The economy is will be better. And I know a lot of you can't see that beyond these other things that are almost distractions to you. Yes. But the fact of the matter is that it's just how it is. I thrived during his presidency and I am open about that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're not voting for a BFF and you don't have to pay attention to all of the other things. That part, like, no, we're, we're not, we're not Trumpies. We're not big supporters with fucking red hats. We're human beings that want a better, that want a different way of life because things are horrible right now. If you do start crying, user, please request a box because I want to watch. Oh my God, same. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to fucking hire a lady that was at Diddy's parties. No, thank you. She was with rappers. Check her history. It's actually disturbing. Okay. She was hanging out with the rappers, y'all. I'm not doing this. She, yeah, she would have caused war, you guys. But regardless, why can't everyone respect each other regardless of who hit the check mark or not? Why is someone automatically something else because they want a different way of life? Yeah, her whole campaign was just very weird. I mean, we woke up one day and they were like, oh, oh, Biden's too old. What do we do? 
and they panicked. We haven't had a real president for months, you guys, for the first time ever, and we're just being lied to, and we just took it. No one questioned it. They're like, okay, oh well. When all those videos came out of him smelling children and all that horrible behavior and he wasn't canceled and immediately impeached, that was disturbing. Okay. What? Okay, there is one thing about, let's see, what did somebody say here? About yeah, read, read some comments. I'm just getting my morning started. Women are already dying from the Roe v. Wade decision, but that doesn't really have, I mean, he was supportive of that, but it's with the states, Annie. Yeah, he's just going old school that every state should decide for themselves. And you that's the American way is you need to be careful of what state you live in and be more mindful. And isn't that it? Like, couldn't you just move to a state or go to a state where if you needed that, that's... Audrey, le um, level 10, your statement is racist and you're a horrible person. But just for the record, wanted to say that. Okay. Assuming that, yeah, I'm not even going to say that out loud. It was awful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Aww. Hadley, your daddy needs to go give you a hug, sweetie. It's going to be okay, okay? Go give him a nice big hug. Mm-hmm. That part, Sydney. But for every anyone and everyone who isn't feeling great today, because I've seen so so much over the, the night, <laughs> people were just they're just they're being too dramatic. They they they're so silly. If the, if she would have won, oh my god, they they just have no idea. They're very nearsighted and they're not fully grasping it. And you think. You think anyone's going to vote for someone that had Beyonce and Megan the Stein at a fucking rally? It's not real. Right. You needed right. celebrities to get a vote? Why don't you have real policies? Her ideas were awful. I yes. I As honestly, were, yeah. right. were. That See, there's another thing. Yes, all of our, all of our foreign friends from Australia and around the world are, are happy for us. Yes. Ping dollar sign. I can guarantee you never even voted in your life. I can guarantee you didn't even leave the house. She dodged so many questions. Everything was so controlled. She refused to do Joe Rogan because she knew he would get her in a corner and dismantle everything she stood for. And if you're scared of a little bald man, you shouldn't be running our country. Okay. That part. Literally that part. Jaylee, I'm not worried for his safety. I think he's going to be fine. <laughs> Wolf Riley. Yeah. Yes, the chat's active tonight. Okay. You guys woke up with opinions. And guess what, you guys? No matter if you don't agree with what me and Paul are saying or not, that's great, though. We all need opinions. We need more power in our voices because not enough people stand up for what they believe in so even though you may not agree with what i'm saying respect it because i respect all of you until you cross the line and i and anyone who is upset because i really do have you know i understand everybody's human and this the emotions are real and they're heightened even though i even if it is a little dramatic we're gonna be fine y'all are gonna be fine we survived, y'all survived, all of us survived his, the first four years of his presidency. But it was great though. And the only, the only curveball was the pandemic that our government created. Okay. Allegedly, allegedly TikTok, allegedly. <laughs> We're asking. <laughs> yeah, we love the TikTok shop. <laughs> I know, I'm getting January flashbacks. Wait, 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 wait. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, and you guys can say it was Obama's economy all you want. I don't care. He immediately changed a lot of things for us. Um, but let me just say one last, not one last thing, but one thing that really bothered me is that so many people came out to the venue. If she was going to allegedly win or not, she was supposed to come out and talk to the people that voted for her. She didn't give a fuck. Yeah. She, she hid indoors. All those people left. I just saw all the TikToks. People are furious. They're angry. They didn't even get a 
thank you for waiting and voting and supporting me, even though we didn't win. Hoo hoo hurrah. Nothing. She stayed silent like a little bitch. Okay, and I'm gonna say it. She was a sore loser. She said nothing. All those people came out. Can you imagine all everyone came out to Wyoming? Yeah. And, I don't, and I don't come on stage to thank people for my store opening. That's a really bad example, but that's my equivalent that y'all are getting right now. Okay. All those people came out in the cold, leaving their families to support you, and you can't even say thank you. Yeah, you don't deserve to run my country. That's right. I'm just saying, y'all. Not even a thank you. Didn't even come out. Girl, your hair and makeup was done, sweetie. Don't be a sore loser. Take it with grace. You Why, weren't even. Isn't that like standard protocol? Like you. Yes. People it address is. Their, their supporters. It's literally like the only thing you do when you lose is to make sure those people still fuck with you because they might put you in the Senate. They may put you in a different political position. She said, F them all. I'm not even going to say hi. That part. Mm hmm. She's supposed to talk today. Well, good for her. I'm glad she got a good night's rest while her supporters were out in the cold with not even an answer. Mm -hmm. But y'all love to make excuses up for these people. I love it. Okay. Vice President Timu. <laughs> I'm not the Vice President Timu. She acted like a Timu politician, is what okay. she did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys know I'm, I'm just mixing in a little bit of humor, but I'm really being dead ass serious. She didn't even say hi to the supporters. They all left. Oh, uh, she's a sore loser. The girl that you guys stood in line for for hours and clicked that little box. She don't care about you. Go home. That's what I. That's all I got from that. I am kind of surprised by how close it was. Yeah, a lot of brainwashed people not really understanding it. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they've if she's acknowledged it or not. Her people were saying that she was going to, and then we got the vanishing act last night, and I'm like, what? And the fact that some of the states flipped because they're so tired of how awful this country is ran spoke volumes to me. Nevada flipped and a couple other states. They're like, no, 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 no. We can't do this anymore. We can't live like this. And I was like, that's powerful. Michigan flipped. Yeah, so did you. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be tonight. Ew. Okay, me on Friday. <laughs> um, yeah, it's time for some new meat to come around. Okay. Yeah, it's time to fin It's time to have some fun this month. Mm -hmm. Yep, all flipped. He really sweeped all the good ones, y'all. That shit was crazy. When they announced that Wyoming had won, everyone was tweeting me like it was my fault. <laughs> I'm, I'm screaming. I'm one person. We have about 560,000 residents in this big old state. And um, most people chose the correct way of history because we're tired. Wyomingites are tired of the economy. I'm definitely excited for some gas prices to go down. That's for fucking sure. Right? And the way that we're taxed and how everything is handled and been mismanaged. Oh. Coley with the maple leaves. Uh. Thank you, Coley. Hi, right, you guys. No matter who you voted for, someone drop a scarecrow. <laughs> uh, not far. If you guys are feeling, then the, if you're feeling feisty and you want to gift either me or Paul, just click our faces, y'all. Yep. You guys can click his box. Somebody drop a scarecrow and all those maple leaves. And Jeffrey, you're pretty high up, baby. 
in this. Yeah, I haven't been live since uh, <laughs> since Saturday, but so <laughs> yay, we're but. six. Okay. okay, yeah, you are, baby. But me doing some boxes have definitely pushed. Here, let me. Yeah, let's just do a couple boom boom pows real quick. I heard the leaves are it. The leaves are it because yep. It gives you the most. Mm -hmm. Whoever structured that needs help because this <laughs> this app should be begging for turkey trots. <laughs> oh shit. Rich! Oh! Rich lost with the Scarecrow! Okay, wait, let's see where Jeffrey started. He was at 36, now he's at 34. Rich let's... Lux, good morning, baby. I hope you're doing amazing. Rich Lux is paying them bills, baby. Okay. <laughs> he really is. Yes. Oh, Richie Rich. Audrey, you're still in here running your flaps. I swear I'm gonna have Paul block you. You're too annoying. Your comments are racist and annoying. You can't actually think like that. And if you do, you can't be on a screen with two guys in makeup. Let's fucking go! Come on, Yak Daddy! I mean, that that's one thing real quick, y'all. Jeffrey has super mob powers in here, okay? So if you just go, bloop! Listen, yeah. be respectful. Yeah, I get this. I feel like some of these people are trolling and they don't even think what they're thinking. They're just trying to get a rise out of us. And it's like, girl, remember y'all have jobs at home and you can't talk like this. People are going to screenshot. Okay. Absolutely that. <laughs> yes, Josh, that part. Bobby Joe gets it. Daddy's home, baby. That part. Is that the real? I'm screaming. Yes, it is. Oh. Somebody said, is that the real Jeffrey? No, it's just an impersonator who really sounds like him, girl. Yeah, it's Jeffrey Trump. It's just another Jeffree Star account that has 7.1 million followers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, listen, I don't know how Colorado turned blue, y'all. I was actually shook to see. I'm like, Colorado, what is up with y'all? Really? Yeah, Colorado is blue. I was like, huh. Okay. Everywhere around it's red, so it's just very interesting. But a lot of, I don't want to say anything to get your account. Yeah, a lot of bee babies. <laughs> they, um, they tried to flip and get weird without any education. Mm -hmm. No, Jen, I know, I know Colorado's been blue for a while. I just expected it to turn this election, and uh, it it didn't, but uh, it's all good. But it also well, didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. But it also didn't matter that you guys were all, all wearing your little girl panties. Oh, well. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Hey, Cody. Thank you guys for all the love. Yes, you guys drop Maple Leaves on both me and Jeffrey. Say howdy. Just a, just a real quick perspective of this little, just side note, and we can still t be talking about what we're talking about. But you guys, sending a scarecrow is 5,000 coins. It gives you 3,000 points. If you use that, if you use 4,700 coins for Maple Leaves, it gets you 15,000 points points no twelve thousand. yeah they structure the points a little interesting good morning ives uh, really interesting so if, yeah you guys want to make an impact send those maple leaves honey uh, period. thank you guys so much for turning us up y'all good morning yes we're waking up on a different side of history this morning y'all Okay. Good morning. Hallelujah. Whatever you think or thought, it's okay. He was 36. Now he's 28. Y'all keep sending those. Brian. No, Sherry. There's no actual backlash because to receive backlash, you'd have to care. And caring involves an emotion that I'm not really too aware of. Okay. And, Paul, and Paul's never fully really said how he feels and people are attacking him. So, you know, let him just do him. Yeah. 
I because I here's my thing. I just understand people on on whatever side you're on. I understand. I understand what you're going through. I understand your mindset. I just think, yeah. I just think that the next four years, whoever voted for who won, obviously we're all happy and we're gonna do great. And the people who didn't and are very sad, you guys are going to be fine. That's one thing I just feel like so many people are like, it's like the first time all over again where people are having breakdowns. It's going Which to- Which was so bizarre the first time. And I'm like, what are you, what? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, thank God. Brian! Let's go, Brian. Turn him up. Yes, Brian. Brian, thank you so much. Cat, it's going to be fine. I guarantee it. Okay. Yes. Brian! Oh, my God, Brian. I love you so much. Daily 34, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Exactly, Heidi, that part. Mm -hmm. You yes. guys need to be muted. I see you guys keep saying something. I know, they keep saying the same thing. Hadley, that's not Trump's fault, sweetie, okay? I'm just gonna mute you, Hadley. You seem really, really angry. You might need to go outside and get some fresh air. Not showing your box. That's because you don't follow me, baby. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Is it snowing in Michigan, baby? It's snowing here. No. Sure. Yeah. You're like in the 60s here. Oh. Godzilla, <laughs> stop. Wait, you guys can't see my box at all. Hold on. <laughs> One, all the only thing that I ask, okay, and I know that doesn't mean. It, take it for what it is. Preach, Paul. Say it. Just be respectful, y'all. Just be respectful to each other. We're all human, okay? Like yes. it's These, <laughs> the new age of people. They don't know how to just have respect. It's okay for whoever someone voted for. It doesn't mean someone's the devil because they clicked a box because they wanted their lives to be better. Okay. And if you don't think that person was going to help our country be better, that's okay. You may be wrong, you may be right, but have a little bit of respect in here, y'all. Mm -hmm. But either way. And then fighting about why you're muted on another account. See, here's the thing, you guys. If you're muted and you come in on another account arguing about it, do you realize how that's mentally not okay? <laughs> and, and clearly not because you're doing it, but I want you to just take a few seconds. If I was cussing out a celebrity and they blocked me and I went on a different page to try to argue the same thing. Do you see how that's mentally not well? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to talk like I'm talking to a two year old, but like, do you understand people that that's not normal? That's disturbing. That's not okay. You are crossing boundaries. That's like when a female tells a man no and they keep going. No, no means no, stupid. When you're blocked, you don't come back to try to plead your case or whine about who blocked you okay me and bobby joe don't care <laughs> okay <laughs> and i'm like what i've just got to say it some of y'all are just way too toxic i see why you voted for her <laughs> no means no yes mike beats good morning heather okay good morning heather hi everybody the golden age is coming you guys I'm sick of this economy. I'm sick of the inflation. It, and it has been really crazy. Really bad. Even to make products and make makeup is way more expensive than it was four years ago. Things are way different. Really are. Let me show you what's happening outside right now. It's 22 degrees out, Paul. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby. Let me see. It's 22 out, Paul. Hey, sis. Oh, my God. Come on, Driz. Drizzy, come on. Let's see. It's 54 today. It's going to... Oh, yeah. Today's only going to be a high of 50. Oh, 60. 60 today. But look at the snowman. Hey, Paul, look at this man. Yeah. Oh, my God. They love the snow so much. Look at him. Inside. Oh, babies. 
<laughs> yes, you guys, 22 degrees out. Don't play with it. Wild. It's 85 in Miami. I'm screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't want 80s all year. I, I lived in Cali my whole life, you guys. I like the snow. It's fun. It's different. I definitely feel like we're going to be getting some snow here soon, though. That's what it looks yeah. like. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. It's November. Let's have some snow. Mm hmm. Pickle, my dogs have a nanny full time, so it, it helps. That's why they always look good. <laughs> well, if you hate the snow, move somewhere warm, you guys, right? Yeah. Literally that. When people whine about it, there's states that don't really get cold Arizona, Florida. I mean, I want to get a place to go to just when I want to get away from Michigan. Yeah, that part. Oh, yeah, those Cali winds could be wild. Come here, baby. It's early, you guys. Who'd you vote for? <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys all feeling about the election? <laughs> we won! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Oh, you don't have to buy from my brand, baby. You can unfollow me. Yeah, that's on you. You don't need to make an announcement when you leave because I don't care. Yeah, this isn't an airport. Yeah, you don't need to let me know you're not coming back. Okay. Ryan. Well, let's fucking go. Yes, Daily 26. I haven't seen that gift in forever. That's hot. Ryan be heavy on that gift. <laughs> Ryan is next level. That's beautiful. Let's go. He actually is next level. Holy shit, you guys. Thank you so much. Mikey. Mark. Yes, yes big daddy. Let's go. Yes. Brian, I love you so much. Hazel, thank you for saying that. Brian, that's beautiful. Good morning. Yes, Ives, don't play with it. Mm hmm. You guys, maybe when I'm older, I'll do politics, but right now I'm living my rock star life. I'm not ready to be the governor of Wyoming. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little young. Let me get a little. <laughs> Let me get a little more. We got to use what we have while we have it, y'all. <laughs> okay. That part. It's too much fun. Ryan. Yes. That really turned me up. Yee. Oh, thank you guys all so much. You guys are amazing. I'm always going to be me, y'all. Don't play with it. Yes, Kelly. Yes, Chelsea. My OFB. Thank you, baby. Yes, chat. Jeffrey for president. Yes. Ryan with the hearts. Lorenzo, I've been to um, Hadley. You weren't speaking the truth, baby. You were speaking like a delusional human. And coming in on another account is exactly what I told you about, but you still did it. So we're going to mute you. And if I see your name tomorrow, I'll remember it because your name's ugly. <laughs> I'm screaming. Because <laughs> your name's ugly. I'm not doing this this morning. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it took, her, it took her a minute to make that other account, sis. Yes, yeah. Yeah, your mama didn't pick a very nice name. I'll never forget that one. Hey, it's me, Hadley. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> come on, Hadley. Okay. Well, yeah, hazmat. Don't get. Don't come in here again. <laughs> a hazmat being all toxic. Okay. Yeah. 
I kind of want her to come in the boxes and plead her case, but I'm a little afraid of what she'd say. Yeah. Hadley, your new name is Hazmat, sweetie. I don't think you've ever been called that, but you're welcome. Okay, my little hazmat girl. Mm-hmm. Aw, Vanna, sometimes it's nice to have a quick laugh. And that's definitely what everyone needs today. A good laugh. Yeah. Roasting is fun in this dark climate right now. While people pretend to be angry. What's my lip combo? I'm actually just wearing Crystal Kiss lip gloss. So pretty. Yeah, it looks very iridescent. It's just my faves. Actually, this one and a couple others. But that really pink reflect in it is really where it's at. So if you guys don't have it, get it out of the TikTok shop. Wait, okay. These are available on the shop, right? Yeah, they're all restocked. Period. That the same lab that makes those does the Patrick Ta I duos. Yes. <laughs> they love glitter over at that fucking lab. <laughs> that one and Shockwave. These two are my. If you guys want to know what my favorites are, mm, I want to see. I want to see you in Wet Peach. Ooh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's see what else we have in this bag of tricks. Get a picture. Oh, my. Yes. <clears throat> Come yes, on, the morning watermelon. Come on now. God, I love that dress. Right, I was shook when they brought it in. Liz, do you not know who won the, the election, baby? Have you been sleeping? Peekaboo. <laughs> 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 yes, you guys, I'm just waking up. With my, yes. bed, my bed head. Fluffer is the lip arousal choice. I, I like this one. And what's the tan one? Versatile. Versatile. Yeah, just like me. That part. Yes, Mandy Dow. Tell him, baby. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Cherie Fluffer. Yes, you guys. Let's go. Is it? But I just know everyone's going to go out there regardless of how you feel and have a great day. You're going to come home tonight and just be like, you know what? It's going to be okay. Yeah. That part. <gasps> Russell! Oh, and he yes, leveled up Russell. on the back. Yes, with the level up on the back up. He really did. Period, Russell, with another star thrown to yes. Jenny. Yes. Hi, Drina. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. Oh, period. They getting y'all quick, honey. Amazing. Chris, no one's begging for anything, baby. We're just being a part of a challenge on an app that we work on. I'm so sorry you don't understand that, Buki. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So instead of being negative... Drop a leaf. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Hi, Brittany. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for turning us up. Her. Paul, if you're never getting your other account back, that means I have to drop a heart me. Um, I was really hoping, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. In case, whatever happens. In case it doesn't ever come back or for any scenario. I was just like, oh my god, where's my level 50? I have a, I have, yeah. I have some options that we're exploring. Okay. Come on, options. That's exactly what I said. I was like, yeah, don't worry, we have options. Do you think TikTok would care? You know what I'm, like, you know what I'm getting at? Like, let's say you had an issue. <clears throat> and Ali's like, oh, how do we get here? And you're like, someone higher up fixed it, stupid. I mean... <laughs> from not your department. That part. Oh, um, so no. Okay, perfect. Especially if they're current. 
Yeah, we love options, you guys. We do. Bobby Joe, we also like options in bed. Sometimes it's time to... Uh, we really do. Yeah. On Friday, Paul, I have four guys flying in. Fuck off, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling multiples. Send me some pics, baby. Send me some pics. <laughs> um, Snappy. Yeah, they're all dudes that do um, OF. Oh. And yeah, they want to come create some content on TikTok and then have some fun off TikTok. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Paul's going to like the one that's six five. <laughs> yes, Bobby Joe. Watch that train on me this Friday, baby. Thank you, beautiful. Yeah, you guys. Mama's gonna have some fun. Yeah, I think Paul's gonna like the six foot five one. You know we like the tall ones. Okay. Um Brianna Brianna Bell, we can't wait. Yeah, Bobby Joe, I think I'm ready to move on <laughs> and really do me for the rest of the year. My birthday, Black Friday, Christmas. Mama has a lot of shit to do. Yeah, you guys. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you're not shocked. Uh uh, I mean, it, it's a it's a tricky conversation. Yeah, yeah. We'll chat. it's 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 not. Yeah, it's interesting, but yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> you guys, life is crazy. This app is interesting, <clears throat> and I'm not the one, two, or the three. How about that? You really is that? You're the one, not the two, the three, or the fucking four. You guys, change is necessary for life. The only thing that's guaranteed in life, y'all, is nothing is permanent. Okay? Change is the only thing that's guaranteed, so. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk off the app for a little update. Mm -hmm. I'm really great, you guys. I've just discovered a lot of things, and mommy's ready to finish out the year really strong and just have a lot of fun. And you will. Yeah. That part. Yeah. I feel really back. Yes, ma'am. Uh, she's been doing big things, and y'all are not ready for the rest of just this month alone. That part, I have a lot more we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing good. No, and it's not secrets. I think some things don't need to be said online. And Paula has actually known me for over a year and we're real friends. And um, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm just, I'm excited for you and I'm proud of you. You just have done so many things that I think that are not 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 just fun, like like doing the podcast, but also sh just shows growth. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Just growth and maturity, and I love it. Trisha asked me a really deep question, like, what would I have done differently during the YouTube era? And I think she thought I was going to give her some fake answer, and I was like... I regret meddling in so many people's businesses, like their lives when I should have just focused more on my own, even though I was the anti-hero a lot of the time and I exposed a lot, yeah. a lot of it distracted and made me look a certain way, even though I was. I can, I 100% can see that just knowing yeah. what I know, you know? Yes. Like I fully couldn't say things. So I misspoke anyway. And it got me in trouble before, and I regret opening my flaps. And she was I, like, <laughs> I think she was shook how real I was. And that that is real as fuck. And if you were only able to speak 
the full truth, then it would have been different. Absolutely. And I even told her that and I explained to her some things and I even offered to play her things from five years ago just to but it make some, yeah, to have some speculation go away and she didn't want to hear it. Oh, wow. Okay. I was going to play the voice note that would acknowledge everything um, from the victim that did not want me to tell their story and she did not want to hear it. So that's wild. Mm -hmm. She said she didn't want the weight of knowing that it was all true. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I've had to live it for five years. Ignorance is bliss, I suppose. Yeah. So she did not want I to would hear it. I want to know that I, I like to know the truth, you know, that's whether it makes me uncomfortable or not. Like, give me the truth. Um, I don't know what all she's going to put in there, but I even opened up my phone, Paul, and I typed in Tati for the very first time in five years. And I let her read the text messages between me and her. And it fully proves I had nothing to do with uploading the video and i just said sure if that's how you feel then do it not you have to upload this in room i mean it's all there but um you know wow. five years later i offered to show it she didn't want to see it that's crazy Brittany, thank you so much beautiful so even though it's been five years and i don't think about this shit anymore other people still do apparently and they were just dissecting Dramageddon, I guess, one day when they were bored. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> good for y'all. <laughs> Do you. Spend your time however you want. Got it. Yeah. Cool. So, I don't know. I kept it as real as possible, and not everyone's going to like it. But just like today. I love it. So, and I, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch both of them. Same. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I love that you went live for the first one. I love that you were live during that. Yeah, I don't care how people got weird about it. Oh, they're on Patreon. You shouldn't have been live. Okay, well, they told me to, and then they told me not to. So you don't get both. Well, I think a lot, I've seen a lot of like recap stories because it's obviously a hot topic. And people are just pointing out all sorts of things about how it was kind of like, a little fucked up the way that yeah yeah it was funny people were responding to you okay we're gonna mute for a second you keep asking the same questions i'm uh, clearly not sitter yeah yes and the trisha podcast was great you guys it should hopefully come out this week we went over a lot and she wanted to be light, but then asked all the dark questions and thought I was going to like give her a fake answer. No, 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 no. I kept it real. She said, Paul, don't you ever just go on podcasts and be like, eh, I don't really remember that stuff. And I'm like, why would I lie? That's what she does. <laughs> and she knows that and said that because that's what started the fight last year. Remember on Bunny's podcast? Yeah. They were like, well, what happened between you and Jeffrey? And she's like, ah, I don't really remember. Yeah, that's exactly. And I was like, but you tried to ruin my life, Pookie. So yeah, <laughs> and we did address that because we hadn't ever spoken, you know, I think it was very mishandled, but we left great. I left her house laughing. It was really fun. And you both looked cute. Yeah, and I, I live on a farm now and she has two children. We're literally two different people than when we first met, so again come on growth bobby thank you so much baby let's fucking go hey what's up oh my god i love it here i'm glad Claire, you're so welcome baby yes anita growth is so important i admitted all my wrongs on the podcast it was very healthy Oh, 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 come on, King of Legends, Great Amma, 
Oh my god, JM, I'm fucking soaked. That was so hot. Not a lot of people have that gift unlocked. They really don't. JM, you are wild. Come on, 6'2". That was JM. beautiful. Turn my fucking friend up. That was really hot, JM. Thank you so much. Oh my god, yes. That vault oh gift god. is really exclusive, y'all. Only a couple people have it. That's finally back in the popular 12. 12, cute. Daily fit, not bad. Amazing. For a Wednesday? Yeah. Wait, is it Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, we got paid. I think, right? Yeah, it is. Yes, you guys, that was an exclusive vault gift. Don't play with it. Yes. So they have full privacy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! JM! That is so hot. JM, that's really fucking hot. And that is on Vault Lynn, honey. Okay. Come that on, is... motherfucking Jason Jeffrey legend. Yes, you guys, that is the king of legends. Okay, well, I was, oh, he's private even. I know, I can't see his account. He has that beautiful banner that I can't see. Is What is that banner for? Because I got both vault banners, but he has a pure gold one. I would love to see it, but he's on ghost, sadly. Oh, you, oh, look at your cute little ghost. What is this one for? Mine's from Bootacular Finishing Gifter number two. Work. Isn't that cute? That's really cute. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, the, the, the pure gold is hot. Oh, number eight in the world for Vault. Okay. Oh, now I see it, Jason. That's awesome. Thank you, Cherie. Of the Jason, I, I unlocked that gift too. Where I think only a couple of us have. Yeah, definitely. It's over now, right? You can't unlock it anymore? Uh-uh. We have it for 13 more days, I believe. Okay. Yeah. And then there's supposed to be another vault gift end of November. They lied last time and it never came. Hold on. Liars. Are we happy or sad today? We are happy, and there's the. Listen, you're gonna have happy and sad people every day. It's like Fairness oh! above all. Jason! Oh my god! Uh, I am shook. Thank you so much, Big Daddy! He is Big Daddy, too. That's my third time ever seeing that. That is insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the hell? JM! Y'all, WJM in the chat, okay? Thank you, thank you for that. That was insane. On like, the iPad, you guys, it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. That was amazing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Nikki, no, I haven't gotten my man back. Everybody who's in here who followed my other account, Paul Dow Official, even though we will get it back, don't you worry. We're, we have options. We're exploring all avenues. But just in case you guys don't follow me on this account, drop a follow, okay, so you, way you guys can stay up to date on everything that's going on. Okay. Dodie. You guys, the ball gifts are so hot. I can't get over it. That's really hot. That's like, yeah, only like the th second or third time. Insane. J New, that is so dramatic. Please don't be weird. You, you sound brainwashed, okay? You guys, everything's going to be great. The economy is going to be better. We're all going to be making more money. Yep. It, it might take a little bit to kick in because our country is really not good right now. But overall, I think... We're in good shape, you guys, okay? 
And also, Paul, this is going to help the app not go away. That. Do people realize that Trump wants to keep TikTok? Are we not talking about how the administration that is about to go away does not want this app to thrive or flourish and they want to take away our jobs? Okay. Like you guys, there will be no more Paul Dow and Jeffree Star streams if they make this app go away. Mm -hmm. And they are really, they were really trying and Trump does not want this app to go away at all. Okay. That part. part. And y'all, we don't want to go away. Okay. Christian. Three three million people stream a day. (gasps) What is that? JM. Oh my God, JM. Thank you. Fireworks. What was that one that was just sent to you? What was it? It was some weird. JM, thank you so much, baby. That is amazing. Wait a minute. I didn't see it. It was to you, I think, right before. JM, thank you so much. That banner is so fucking hot. It really is. Oh my God, that pure gold is next level. Thank you. Go, JM. Yeah, that was amazing. Thank you so much for that. What the hell? Good morning, America. Hi. Okay. We're all very happy in Wyoming right now. (laughs) <laughs> Jody, Jennifer. Yeah, no, I think people are happy around here too. Very. Mm-hmm. UK here, so happy. Okay, we love the UK being happy. Okay. And not you, and you're blocked, and you're muted. Got it. Trump loves everyone. That's just such a bizarre. Mm-hmm. Alabama sounds like church bells. Mm-hmm. I think that's Remember how Trump handled all the other leaders and dictators? He was way more hands-on he was one of the only presidents in history to ever go to north korea i mean it spoke volumes of how he handled everybody else for real he didn't put up and do the crybaby stuff he went to north korea you guys no one had been there it's actually crazy of all people of all people you know no betty we're in trouble with ideologies like yours or nay, I'm not a Trumpist at all. I'm Jeffrey Star the human. Okay. So don't put words in my mouth. Uh huh. Joya crying is a little extreme, but it is. I mean, whether you're happy or sad, but I'll, listen, everyone has the emotions they need to have. Yeah, and everyone's emotions are valid, even if we don't fully understand it. Exactly, you guys. What do we think the next Republican to come up will be? Huh. You know, I mean, I know it's a little early to be thinking about that, but probably Vance, then. Jimmy Neutron, are you okay? What are you talking about? Yeah, GD Vance. His son is too young. Like, are you okay? Let's mute you for a second. Somebody- okay (laughs) they're really not oh jd vance i don't know anything about him really like i read no no (laughs) (laughs) no i read up on him i don't know if he's gonna be next in line we'll see Okay. Come on. Oh, his wife is ethnic? What is she, Indian or Middle Eastern? The pups are celebrating. They are. They're loving this cold weather. They're like living for the snow. Oh, there's a movie. 
Yeah, a lot of a lot of interesting opinions on here. I like it. Uh huh. A lot of varying opinions, and that's the great thing about being here, specifically on my page, y'all. I respect everybody. Okay, whether you voted the same way I voted or you voted the other way. I mean, I respect you all because you're human and you're allowed to have your own opinions and how you think that things should or need to go. Yeah, I'm not gonna belittle you because. You agree? You you think differently? Have a different opinion than I do? That part. Usha, Asha, Usha. Where's she from? Mm. That part, Joya. Buddy, I know, baby. Yes. What's up? Thank you. Come on, diverse family. Jennifer Coolidge, I really honestly, maybe just because I've been so busy, like focusing on my own shit. I don't feel like it was that bad this year, but. What part? They said somebody said that they feel like this was the worst. Uh, this was this election was the worst. It's been U.S. was in a clear big divide among us. I mean, I, feel I don't like, I don't think so at all. Yeah. I think the news was gassing people up and making things a certain way, and we all kind of fell into it. And her support was not as big as people thought. Yeah. And and maybe that's it, because I didn't really pay attention to the media and the news about anything leading up to it, because I just was too busy. Yeah, I think people forget, Paul, that like, just earlier this year <laughs> she said she was running it was never a plan joe biden had full dementia and the american people finally were fit that up a bit and they never fully addressed it they just threw her there while he was in bed sucking on morphine lollipops all right so it's like you guys how did you think she was ever going to have a chance no one knew her the whole time that Biden was there, y'all, what did she do for our country? Let me tell you, nothing. She was barely ever in the media. You never saw her in the forefront. She kept quiet. She really did. I didn't hear, yeah. She you really never did. heard from her. She didn't cause a big stir, didn't oh, fight God. for the rights of the people. She was silent and then was just like, yep. Here we go. Let's be president. It's like, wait, 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 who are you again? Yeah, and then she picked Tim Waltz. What? <laughs> For real. I mean, I knew it was going to be a white dude because I feel like that's the only chance she thought she had. Yep. And she refused to go on the, a podcast, you guys. How are you going to run the country if you can't even speak to a little bald guy that gets a bunch of listeners on Apple Music? Okay. Okay, if you're afraid of that, because he's such a free thinker and can't be controlled, she was afraid of the questions. Yes, you guys, it's just what it is. I'm just speaking the facts. Yeah, she went on Call Her Daddy. Um, and you want to run my country? I'm gay. What is that? A podcast of a, a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. That part, JM, the stock market is surging this morning, and that's on motherfucking that, baby. Tell them. I saw that just on the news now. Yes. I'm so excited. I'm going to be honest, Paul. I shed a tear last night. Did you really? Yes. As someone that is so financially smart, we need this. I, I just don't want to go too deep in because we're on this app right now, you know, and we're on your page. You yeah. got this. Just, <laughs> you have no idea. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also it is a lot of people are undereducated about economics and financial. And I feel like they just don't understand. And I think that's that. Yes. Look at all these comments. Amazing. There's so many people in here that get it. Yes. Mm hmm. Exactly. You guys economically. I said I need money. <laughs> okay. Ivy. Yeah. 
Annie, Wyoming tax has nothing to do with the election, baby. I didn't, I didn't move here for taxes, okay? I paid millions of taxes in California. If I told you how much, you would actually throw up sitting here. You would, yep. I could have moved somewhere years ago to try to get Lex taxes. I don't care about that. It was never about the money. I moved here for my mental health, to be honest. So I'm not going to accept that answer. <laughs> I trust Dan. You're unfollowing me on everything. Oh my God, perf. <laughs> perf. <laughs> Following me. That sounds amazing. Thank you for fast tracking that. Mm -hmm. I also don't need you to announce your um, exit. You can just kindly leave. I'm looking for peace, quiet, and serenity. That part. Yes, Luna Sky. Me and Paul aren't a huge anyone supporter. We just want our country to be better. I think that's what... JM, you're amazing. JM, I'm screaming. I am. He's a streamer or no? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I haven't ever seen him stream. I love it. I see that German flag. I'm half German. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, now, now we can go back to each gender playing their correct sport. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you are wild i love it, <laughs> I, yeah. love it I, I don't know why that's a hot topic like yeah i don't know either if you were born a male you can't be swimming with the girls i don't know why that's a big thing to understand um you're if you're not the correct gender you shouldn't be in the wrong sports i i don't know how anyone has a different opinion about that <laughs> Okay. Mm-hmm. Dang it. These shorts I want to hold out. That's okay. Ooh, yes, it is. Yes, the culture, JM, that part. Yeah, if you guys are divided about that, then <laughs> Mm-hmm. Joseph. Yeah, why don't they get their own league? Why can't they have their own league? That part. Okay. Like, I feel like that seems like more of a, okay, like a even playing ground. Yes. Yes, that part. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to affect the gayborhood in any kind of way. At all. What is he going to do? Take marriage away? No, he don't care. Stop, you guys. Don't don't push that fake agenda. Okay. Cassie, I sure do. Hi, how are ya? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Brooklyn! Okay, we'll start following again. <laughs> yes. Brooklyn with the maple leaves. Ryan on your main account. You missed the Jeffrey that did closet tours? Well, that Jeffrey's never coming back. I'm sorry. Because I already right. did that. And I only do things I don't do. It's called evolving. Thank you so much, Brittany. Let's fucking go. Dalton, you better get up here, okay? Yes, Dalton. Yes, college dorm. <laughs> I am obsessed. Ash, with a face like yours, I get why you're so angry. Um, but no one cares. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in class. Okay, we'll go out in the hallway. Yeah, tell your teacher a celebrity wants to say hi to you. <laughs> oh, bitch, I'm busy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, Dalton. <laughs> Ryan, welcome back. Thank yes, you. Dalton, with the turkey face. Come on, turkey leg. Come on, turkey lean. I can't, you guys. Y'all motherfuckers are sick. They're wild. They are wild today. 
Yes, a good man. Absolutely ruthless. Some, listen, you have to be with some of these people. Yeah, because they don't stop. When I've seen the same comments for 30 times, I'm going to say something to you. Okay. okay. Um, Cassie, so when, so yes, so when he's live doing sales, the sales also reflect in your shop, yes. They do, yeah. There'll be a sale tonight with X-Tina and Six, and then I'll be doing my own this weekend. Period. So you guys take your opportunity and do what you, okay? Plan accordingly. That part. Mm. Ginger, no. And if he is, I'm sure it will be taken care of. Slash, listen, every, people are just out here trying to pay their bills. What are you gonna do? Rich is not selling a fake palette. There's no way. That's why I'm just like, yeah, I've known him for 10 years and they, <laughs> what are you doing? There is a fake palette going around that my lawyers are working on. Oh, really? Full removal? Yeah. I just can't imagine Rich selling a fake one and not the JSC official one. Oh. Huh. Well, let me just... Could you go to Rich's shop and see if there's a fake one? I'm gonna go because a couple of people have said. Okay, so. one second, you guys. My dog's going crazy. I don't see. What palette did you say it was? They said it was the O palette with like fake pans or something. There's a Glam Light Frosted Flakes palette with Jeffree Star fake makeup inside. I've seen that. But my actual packaging, you guys, Rich would not be reselling anything. I don't see it in his shop. In his shop. Yeah, I think it's a misunderstanding, or people are hearing it wrong, or it really happened and it was a mistake. I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but he was loading them in his cart last night. Well, Paul has the access to Rich's cart right now, and if Paul doesn't see it, then that's what I'm going off of. Yeah, it's not in here. Drizzle. Oh, Oh, it was the actual palette, but a different seller? Well, it's not in his showcase right now, so maybe he decided against it. Yeah, or my lawyer had it removed, because that's been happening lately. If someone, find, <clears throat> if someone finds it, just send me the listing, share it to me in my messages. Otherwise, fake news. Hi, Zach. Yeah, the dogs are going crazy. They're looking extra handsome today. Right? So hung. I'll probably suck him off today. <clears throat> if, he's in the, if he's in the mood, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is like every day. <laughs> he's feeling a little ne you know, neglected lately because I've been a little busy, but my mouth's always open. Hush! That's yeah, fair, the truth with a good morning <laughs> type shit. Exactly. Okay. Lishy. I was telling you, it's 20, it's 20 plus degrees out last night or tonight. Yeah. Bundled up. Mm -hmm. Yay, make America great again, Zach. Let's do it. <laughs> Hush. He said Trump. Mm. No, Morgan. He really could. He's actually very, very handsome. And the thing that I love, especially about all these dudes, they're also re actually really respectful, and I love that. Yes, you guys. My employees like to. Have some fun with me once in a while. <laughs> okay. We have a different relationship at this ranch. <laughs> That's why they're all hot. Not all the employees banging me. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Honestly. You people don't get it. Y'all think I'm hanging out with one person? Absolutely not, bitch. The fuck? I like to have fun. You've been clear about that from the beginning, too. 
very clear and people don't actually know what's going on. If they knew behind the scenes, they would screech. But um, yeah, I'm just doing me, you guys, having fun, protecting my energy. Yes, Zach is from Arkansas, y'all. He works for me full time. Full time nanny at the dogs, full time wiener. Okay. Yes, full time wiener. That part, April. Oh no. my God. Uh, Good morning. Hi. How is she? I'm getting up. How's our ranking rising star? Yeah. Oh my God, that was wild last night. I'm that so was so proud fun. Of you. Honestly, so proud of you. Thank you. You guys, our dear friend Xtina finished the highest she's ever finished at daily 29. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I know, I was like, just get me past 30. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really great. Hush, you guys. Sorry, Zach just got here. My dogs are going crazy. Oh, they love them. <laughs> Let me fix my picture. You can't see it now. Hold on. I honestly, I mean, I'm sure like Jeffrey hears it every day. I love when his dogs go crazy. I know, they're so and cute. They're, they're so cute. fun. Their personalities. The energy. Yeah, I love it. I think if I, Paul, I think I found it. I'll send you screenshots on Discord. Thank you. Look at that lip combo, honey. Yeah, that's fire. Endless cacao with something in the middle. I don't know. <laughs> that's my favorite lip liner color. I love that one. Yeah. Good. Delicious. How you doing? <laughs> one second, y'all. Hey, you guys, can I say one thing? Because everyone's really politically charged. I was very upset right before bed when I saw that the state of Hawaii chose to vote for her. Remember when the island burned down and Joe Biden gave them all $400 to rebuild their million dollar homes? <laughs> Why yeah. would Hawaii stay blue knowing the government did not care about them? Okay. Maui was burned to the ground, allegedly by lasers, allegedly by weather. We'll never know. And Hawaii shocked me by staying with the same administration that didn't give a hoot or a holler about them. Yeah, that's actually surprising to me, to be honest that's with you. That's giving who I still forgot. lives there and owns Maui was the land. burned to the ground with no answers, nothing. And Oprah and everyone else got more right. land, right. More, more of the island. That. God, it was so disappointing. That part. That it's like who, we can keep going on and on and on. Yeah. Like there's so many things I think that people forget because they're living in their own misery. Uh -huh. They've forgotten how bad things have been because they're just in that rut and they're just trying to do the blame game on some guy. It's like Trump didn't do anything to y'all. Oh my. Yes, Green. Listen, they tried to devalue the land for the rich to buy. Exactly. So for Hawaii to go with Miss Thing, I was like, what? That's wild. I am okay. shocked. Actually. Okay. I'm just going to keep it real, y'all. That, that shocked me. I just had to say that for some reason. Yeah, people are really brainwashed from the media. They really are. I know, and I'm sad. You know, like, that Hawaii thing really, you know, is really upsetting. And then nothing, nothing was covered. It was like coverage and then nothing. Yeah, they, the government made sure we didn't talk about it or, right. or see how bad it really was. As a tourist yep. of someone that's been there six times. Same. I, I, I love Lahaina. Obsessed, right? Like I loved it. I love Lahaina so much. It, it, that tore me apart when I saw it, Con. That Dang. was my honeymoon. That's where I went on my honeymoon. Yes, right? My... <laughs> I went there on my first, my one year anniversary with yeah. my deepest relationship. I'll always have a connection there. And I was like, it was so sad to see it all go down like that. So, so awful. Yeah. Oh, I know, Emily. I think a lot of new people didn't fully know where I stood. But I still have never fully even explained it. All I, all I did was talk about gender a couple of years ago and I got a billion views. <laughs> I never, I never said A, B, or C. I was just going with science, and part of the LG whatever community don't fuck with me now. I don't care. Y'all can't go against science. You can live in a fairy tale. I live in reality. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, even I can, can just confidently say I don't understand the day. But, and that's fine. I don't need to understand because I don't feel that way. That part. I believe in science. I love science. <laughs> I also, here's what the problem is, is that people t- took it wrong. Yeah, I never, right. said, never said there was anything wrong. Right. I just said, you can be whoever you want to be, but you can't go against science and say you're a they. I mean, you can. You can say whatever you want. You can say you're a fucking dog for all I care. Okay. But that's not reality. Yeah, but it's not going to make it true. No, and the fact that we got to a place where people were putting X on their passport and the government was falling into that trap of horse shit. Right. I'm glad that that's going to be over. (sighs) Why do you get to have an X on your passport? That doesn't mean anything. You're either a male or a female. So don't don't start me on that, y'all, because... Well, see, mm-hmm. to me, it's not even the actual genuine people wanting to use it. It's the non-genuine people and maybe the people wanting to do harm to our country, wanting to use things like that to get to us. You know what I mean? Exactly. Finding loopholes and finding things. Exactly. So. That's on that. And yeah. That's, and that's on no one being delusional. Right. I saw the the whole rich thing last night. I was I, I was lurking all night. You saw what? I think what happened was he found your pallet and thought it was yours and put it in his cart. But I think it was a you know a reseller or a fake that had it on sale. Yeah, because there are and counter he, there are counterfeit people right. that have only a couple of viewers, and because they have the TikTok shop open. TikTok will push it out a little, not knowing it's fake. And he Um, immediately fixed the situation as soon as someone in the comments said something. There you go. There's the other half of it. That's the, yeah, that's the team. Rich did not try to resell something. He just, he fixed the situation. So let me just say something. In the eyes of people that don't really know me, Rich Lux is a drama channel, right? Like a TMZ, but for social media people, I've known him. I've met him. We've spent time together. We've gone on trips together. I may not have seen him recently, but we've broken bread, you guys. He's been in my hotel rooms. I know him past the makeup. Um, And I can confidently say he's not going to do anything negative like that. He may report stories and he may not fully agree with everything I say. Good, that's called a real fucking friend. I would hope Paul and Xena don't agree with everything I say and pander to me. We're all humans that respect each other, y'all. Exactly. Adults. That's the word. <laughs> yes. We have, we have opinions, and that's why we live in America, y'all. Because we can have opinions. But also, I think it's good to see that people can have different opinions and still respect each other in this way. Yep. Yes. And also, I want to quickly say thank you to everyone that alerted us about the pallets. I don't want you guys to think that you did anything wrong or like, oh, Jeffrey has riches back. No, 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 no. Thank you for alerting us. Yeah. No, everyone was. Anyone selling fake makeup is going to get a lawsuit. (laughs) I I feel like that was, I I jumped in and saw this at the last second, but every, like I was lurking and everybody was, oh my God, oh my God. No, no, no. And they were like explaining it and they were, they were being super nice about it was not, it was not weird. It was not something stupid. It was. Yeah. But people want to come in here because me and Paul Dow weren't there and they want to try to stir the pot. Right. Y'all, I I lurk all night. Y'all don't know where I'm at. In the chat, calm down. I'd be watching. Uh-huh. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep early, y'all. I saw the election kind of ending and I shed a tear and went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not the shed the tear. <laughs> I honestly did. I, I don't care how silly that sounds. I really did. I love it. No, Pedro. I'm just Jeffree Star, sweetie. Also, you spelled my name wrong. So did about 20 other people in here. But, you know, it's okay. It's just right in front of you. It's okay. Let let the let the Please, algorithm, please algorithm. get a life, sweetie. Okay. Please stop. Junior, thank you. So yeah, I got a Susie, I got a, I got a Susie is telling Paul Dow to check your IG because Rich still has the fake makeup in there. Oh my god. He probably doesn't even uh, y'all. 
But Paul just checked the showcase. Hold on, let me go on my iPad. Now y'all are making me look, and I'm fucking busy. <laughs> he was up late watching the elections. If he, if he doesn't understand it's a mistake, he will. It's not a big deal. He wasn't trying to do it on purpose. Yeah, I think that's what people are not fully realizing. Right. He's not they were really talking cool. about your makeup all night and your skincare. They were having fun in there. Oh, Rich is live right now, you guys. I can't... Um... Okay. Yeah, I think it was like 21 bucks and they were all freaking out because they saw it on sale, but I think it was a fake reseller. Mm. Yeah. I can't see it because he's live, so. Let me go on and back up. Okay, you guys. Y'all, if you were actually watching, they were talking up the brand all night. All the fans were in there loving on it. You guys, so they did take a picture, but it's not in his live showcase now. So, right. But at the same time, he is a drama station. So he was, you know, you all, he does stuff on purpose to get views. He's doing it, you know, he, they were, they were online all night on live. <laughs> He was probably having fun with his chat. I can put it in my cart right now. Look, Susie, I'm not seeing that same thing that you're seeing, sweetheart. Like, I'm on his live right now. Oh, let me take oh, this picture off. Did you go to creator choice instead of recommended? Oh, no. Paul's like, never mind, it's right here. <laughs> I know, right? It's probably at the top. It was an O2 pelt they were talking about. But just, yeah, a, yeah, you guys, Paul's you can report that, that shop. Like, not Rich's shop, but the shop trying to sell it. Oh, yeah, right here, or O2. From, yep. Okay, it is in there. Does it say for it, what yeah. shop, though? It's not yeah, from what, Jeffree Star. What shop? Company. Can you tell me the username? Yeah. yeah. O-M-A-A-C-L-L-C. I'll screenshot it for you. There it is, y'all. It also, though, l l let me be devil's advocate. It could be someone that has... 10 pallets of mine and they're real that yeah. too exactly you never know but the good news is y'all i'll text rich right now and ask how about that how simple is that just to ask right he took it out immediately uh, yeah yeah he was he, what he had he was pinning stuff he was doing a shopping live while watching the elections that's all easy. and he unpinned it immediately that's what i was you know what i'm saying like y'all y'all are messy and Susie, we do appreciate you just trying to look out for us and protect yes, us. Yes, thank you. So can you protect my place in the rankings and send a uni? Love you. There's a, there's a lot of fake stuff out there. That's why you always got to look at the who's selling it. It's really important. On the When you scroll down further and see who the seller is. Not well, after she said she wants to protect us, then that means she would want to protect my space in the in the dailies. at the end of the oh my god the end of the day too rich is trying to make his coin y'all leave him alone <laughs> oh my god yes Susie. come on gangster okay well i'll just leave my live on for you all day so whenever it comes you can just swing through <laughs> <laughs> you live close if paul wasn't in michigan i'd have the motherfucker there every week <laughs> okay <I'll move. laughs> listen I'm yeah, right. if I'm Paul was in LA home. more, I would have him do it way more. And if anybody knows of a Q condo for rent in LA, let me know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to move to Nashville part time, so if you want to come, <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so fun. Yeah, I'm trying to get a condo downtown, just for the record, next year. Period. I actually asked, mm -hmm. talked to my mom about that because that's essentially where she would be. You gonna go in? Yeah. Yes, Mama D in Nashville would be iconic. Michigan? She was down with Nashville. She was like, hell yeah, Nashville. That would be so cool. I was like, okay, that. Oh, I love that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can't wait to go back. End of the month. Yeah. How's everyone doing, Zach? It's got a busy month. Uh, Darissa? No. Oh, I was going to say, I... Probably not, right? Tennessee is one of the eight states that has no individual state tax. California, I used to pay millions in individual state tax, and now I pay zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, these two are kind of, I mean, they really rival each other, even in color. Hi, Mark. So Mark, right now we're scouting a location and Nashville will open up next year. We just don't know when. So exciting. What's on my lips? So I try to recreate what Jeffrey has on in this picture. I did Endless Cacao Liner from Makeup Forever. And then, um, then I added a little bit because he's a little lighter com complexion wise. So that liner is going to look a little darker on him. So I need to make mine a little darker. So I added Chestnut from MAC. And then I used an unreleased lip shade. Uh -huh. <clears throat> an unreleased liquid lipstick for my one of my collabs with fatal beauty um in the center and then we added a gloss on top of it so the liners are really what you can get but i would say if i were gonna do like a jeffrey product for this color it'd probably be diet mannequin drop a follow and do some sit-ups We were when all the celebrities started endorsing her this week and no one cared. No. Because, <laughs> because guess what? All those celebrities are way richer. Beyonce has so much more money than all of us. Why do I give a fuck what she has to say? I don't care if you're singing at a rally. Who are you? Y'all are all at the Diddy parties. You think we're going to elect someone that was at one of those parties? Are y'all out of your minds? Thank you. Listen, I've been telling people about Beyonce for a minute, but nobody wants to believe me. Okay, you guys, I'm sick of it. I know, people are so weird. Celebrities have no say. If you like someone's album, they sh their opinion should not sway you on who to vote, you guys. They're an artist. Remember when Cardi B got on the microphone and was reading from her cell phone and sounded like the most uneducated human I've ever seen? Yeah, it was a wrap after that speech, okay? Hold on, you guys. Ready? Trump says... He's going to protect women whether they like it or not. Well, if his, def if his definition of protection is not... If you can't even say definition correctly, we're definitely not listening to you, sweetie. Now go back and make an album. It's been seven years. <laughs> okay. That's it's so been weird. seven years since an album. I just don't think also that if I was choosing a celebrity to represent me, no, I mean... It's going to be an ex-stripper that told everybody she used to con men and rob them. You think that person's going to tell me who to vote for? What? That's what's wrong with our country. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to trick and rob men. Here, everybody go vote. Yeah. Y'all, do you, they really think we're dumb, y'all. The media really tried to get us this time. And finally, the American people said, no, we're not dealing with this this year. Right. They should have never had her on there. And Megan, girl, you got your foot shot. You think I give a fuck what you have to say about politics? Okay. <laughs> you lied to Gail about sleeping in Tory Lanes. You think we're going to believe you about the fucking presidency? You told Gail King that you didn't hit that, and you did, Miss Thing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bigfoot slept with Tori and she lied to Gail. Screaming. <laughs> I bet she was too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And they had Bigfoot on there twerking at a rally. What, who would need to do that behavior in front of children? Also, you go home and get your Bigfoot. I know on Halloween, Joe Biden biting that baby's foot. I made me want to just pull my eyes out. And it didn't, I haven't seen it. I'm so removed from the girl. He what bit a baby's leg scared? on Halloween. I haven't watched the news in so long. He was probably confused. Thought I was a chicken leg. Yeah, he, played, he probably thought it was a chicken leg, Zach. Give me a big foot. Literally. He didn't, even, he didn't know if it was Halloween or April Fools. <laughs> he cares about that. Cancel culture is not real anymore. No, it's not. I proved that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 10 lives. Boom. Okay. 
Ah, screaming from the inside. I can be an antidote tonight. <laughs> yeah, Haley, I'm not worried about anything. Because what did I say to get me canceled? Nothing. I'm saying a real opinion. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything weird or offensive. I'm just speaking facts as an American citizen. See, and that's what gets me with everybody in this, you know, the crowds. It's like, y'all, we live in America. That's our right to speak. We have the right freedom of speech. That's, and you're all entitled to it. That's so amazing. Why are y'all getting mad for us, anybody? Exactly. You know? Use you, exercise your freedom before yes. it's too late, Pookie. Right. Uh, I ripped that one too last night, the red. Whether it's the one side or the other, you're, everyone's entitled to their freedom of speech. Yeah, that part. And if you're afraid of the truth, it speaks a lot. They are. Y'all thought the celebrities were gonna m manipulate America? Not this year, sweetie. We're all suffering. That may have worked at one point, but not right. today. Everyone's getting smarter. Everyone's seen the the curtain behind the curtain, you know, like there's smoke and mirrors and that's what they've been doing for a long time. My my um, degrees in communications and it's all about how the media manipulates and how the companies manipulate the media. You know what I mean? Like perception, perception. Yes. Perception. Who owns what and how they're going to sway you has nothing to do with facts. <laughs> It just has to do with what they can convince you to perceive. Right. I went to marketing school and that was part of it. Yep. It's a big, big deal. I mean, y'all, I went to college a long time ago and it's still the same. That part is still the same. So fresh for me. I've only been out for six years. I can't, I think I'm almost on, t oh my God, am I almost on, I'm on like eight or 10 years? Oh God, awful. Oh, so you're not that long for you either. That's Wait, not that long. Am I old? How old am I? Is it 20 years? I don't remember when I graduated. When did I graduate college? <laughs> That's how old I am. I can't remember. Seven. Oh, seven? Yeah. Oh, seven. That's so when you graduated seven. college? Yeah. Wild. I'm old. Yeah, it's too I mean, early to math right now. You're really not, but... I know. I, I just feel, feel it. it. I feel it. I graduated <laughs> high school in 05, and I feel like that was forever. Especially being on this app, it's like, oh, I'm like a grandma. Uh -huh. <laughs> you were married. It was oh, cool, Nicole. Oh, three for you. Yeah, one elderly. Right. Come on, geriatrics. We love Come it. Come on, it's fun. Oh, thank you, Cora. That's because we have good skincare and good. Good science. We have Botox. We have stuff to keep us young. I know. I was dying last night when somebody said, oh, my God, you're because you were talking about age or whatever. And you're like, yeah, I'm this old. And somebody was like, oh, my God, you look so good for your age. And I <laughs> meant well, but I hate that compliment. You can just say, wow, you look amazing. Period. Right. And I'm like, you look so good for your age. OK. And it's like, well, you know, but it, I, I work really hard on my looks. I, I, we, we, you know, Paul and I and other people, we, we have preventative care, which is called Botox or yeah. whatever, you know, it's called preventative care. It's preventing, preventing deeper wrinkles, right? We're all still going to age, but we're just preventing the lines of getting deeper, you know? So you have, there's things, and then we have our good skincare and we have this and that, you know? So, um, I do have to tell you guys something funny. Azalea Banks, um, at replied me on Twitter. Ooh, okay. And she said that I need to go fix Donald Trump's makeup. Oh my. I have like uh, hundreds of replies on Twitter and I'm like, who is Azalea's lace wig? And that's her username and it's verified and it's her actual account. Wow. Oh. And she said, now we need to get Trump a better makeup artist. Jeffrey, where are you at, sis? Help Trump. He thinks he's a full coverage C-U-N-T. Please fix him. Oh my God. There, you do have a product coming out. Um that I think would be um, hilarious and amazing if you <laughs> sent a PR package. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, hold on. Let me text you real quick. <laughs> oh my God, I got to text you. Hold on. Okay, you're gonna, you Jeffrey, you're going to scream. Fill me up. Paul, you have a product coming out? No, no, no. You. Oh. 
<laughs> that part. Yes. Can you imagine? That would be lit. Yeah, you guys, Azalea at reply me. I'm screaming. I'm not mad at it. I think she's funny. I don't know a single one of her songs, but I know that's what she does. I totally forgot about that. I just text him. Oh my god. Wait, who is that? The the older son? Oh. Yeah. And Sorry, so I'm we got sorry. a we got a lot of hate about it, but we were like, y'all get over it. It's oh, just, that's awesome. we just fish. And so his guide, we know his guide, and his guide and they're around you, um, around you know the, all that area up there. They go fishing and like Yellowstone and stuff like that up there. But yeah, he um he is a big time hatch supporter. Oh, I love it. Jeff big Bezos time. just congratulated him. Yes. I love how he worded it on an extraordinary political comeback and decisive victory. No nation has a bigger opportunity than us right now. Wow. It really does. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good day at work. Joseph, we love you. Have a good morning. Uh, oh, can't stop. Yes, take <gasps> all to Disneyland. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Let's go with the Disney castle. That was beautiful. Turn my friend up. I love Thank that you one. so much. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, yes, J-Hop. Okay. J-Hop, baby. Yes, J-Hop. Don't play with it. Follow his, yeah, follow his third account. Stop asking me about a video that I've seen. No, I haven't. Don't care. I live in my own world, okay? I don't know why you're asking a hundred times. I love it. I can only imagine how annoying you are in real life. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Like, fuck. Some of y'all really great nerves. Your parents just must be. <laughs> <laughs> what did someone say about my dogs? Y'all never seen dogs bark before? I can't. No, Storm. I don't care about J Lo. She doesn't even sing her own songs. Oh. Okay. Clocked. She also dated Diddy and was a part of everything he was doing, so. And she hasn't spoken out about a thing, and I'm like, mm. Nope, she hasn't spoken out one fucking thing. No, thank you. Be on the right side of history. Yeah. Okay. That. It's like, was that whole generation not alive when she was with him? Like, was that how long ago it was? I have no idea. Like, no one remember. Why, why are we the only ones that remember that? <laughs> um, Antoinette, how do you know that I don't need it, baby? I got bills. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, I get the same thing. I'm like, I'm like, oh. I don't do YouTube anymore. I don't do half the shit I was doing. So y'all don't know what the fuck I'm up to. Exactly. It's only 8.40. I can't breathe. It's so, 7.42 here. I'm like... Oh, my God. You're right? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, um, yeah, boy. I'm going to go live soon. Okay, give me a couple hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rich Lux changed his profile picture to Jeffree Star because he is number one in his turkey rank. <laughs> so he wanted to fuck with people who have my photo up there as number one. That's funny. He is hilarious, y'all. I love it here. I feel like if we all get up there, we should all just change him so no one knows who you, like, which one's what, you know, it'd be so funny. Yeah. Just your picture I'll on the whole. I'll change mine to Paul's tonight. <laughs> the whole race. And listen, y'all, Rich Lux has had my back about a lot of things lately. People coming for me, blah, 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 blah. So. I yeah, he's a good guy. He could have fed into things about Paul, but he chose to report normal things and not mm -hmm. give mistruths like other people. Mm 
Absolutely that. All these people starting your morning off and you thought Kamala was going to win. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Guess again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, he's a Barbie girl, babies. <laughs> Don't play with it. <laughs> I am. Um, oh, right there, big. But like Vegas, street Barbie girl. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Barbie, let's go party. On a balcony with two other dudes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> People don't realize, Paul, but when I went to Nashville the second time with that other dude, that like, I had three guys run on me. <laughs> okay. I just remembered that. That hit different. <laughs> yeah, that was three at once. It was fun. It really was. Yeah. I couldn't miss it. Same. Mm -hmm. I wish people would consistently stay themselves. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that's asking a lot. Apparently. I know, I know, I know, I know. It is asking a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving because I, I am ready for some mashed potatoes, some gravy, some stuffing. Yeah. Oh, I want the sides. I want all the sides. And then what I do after is I, I, anyone who's like getting rid of their turkey body parts is the best way to put that. I keep it. I put it in my freezer and I make a big batch of turkey stock. And I mm -hmm. love turkey, turkey noodle soup. That sounds delicious, actually. Like a warm hug. It is so awesome. Like turkey soup. I love the leftover moment where uh -huh. I put mashed potatoes and then my corn and then my turkey all in a bowl with some gravy and cheese and eat that. Ooh. So the next morning, I'll, I, I'm, Adam likes uh, eggs Benedict. I don't eat eggs, but I make him a stuffing Benedict. So I'll cut a stuffing piece out and fry it like on the on the pan and then do the poached eggs and then over the mashed, like put it on a little bed of mashed potatoes and then use the gravy as the sauce. And we call it stuffing Benedict. Ooh. Yeah. I never eat leftovers for some reason. Yeah, some people just aren't leftovers, leftover kind of people. That's fine. That's actually, uh, I know a lot of people that don't. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. My ex-boyfriend was like that. If it was, like, he would still box it up, but he would never eat it. He just was not a leftovers person. Yep. My dad's like that because my nonna, my, my nonna would cook every day. Yeah. There was no need to eat leftovers, so he just didn't, wouldn't do it. He wasn't interested. No. Personally, y'all, I love leftovers. Like, well, also, you guys, a lot of you guys have seen how I eat. I rarely ever eat a full meal in one sitting. I take one or two bites, and then I put it away for an hour, and then I'll bring it back out, take one or two bites, and then I'll put it back away. I have a Sephora package coming today that has the new Hourglass Evil Eye palette. Ooh. We bought the, we finally caved in and wanted to review the LYS Triple Fix Blurring Skin Tint Stick. Oh, please do. Tell me what oh, you think. Oh, yeah, I want to try that. We got that. We got the new Danessa Myrick's Balm Contour. Yes, we just used that last night and today. Okay, and then we got the new Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Long Wear Cream Concealer. Ooh, Ooh. I've been wondering about that one. Yeah, and then we got the new NARS Blush in Impassioned, which looks like it only works for white folks, but uh, oh, we'll see. A cute little haul, and then I bought a bunch of stuff from Neiman's and Saks, and just a bunch of makeup from Ulta. How much fun. That's so much fun. Yeah, it was time to... I'm like, I don't have anything to review. What's happening here? Yeah. Let's get some newness. Yes, y'all. Okay, new videos. Plus, the holidays are coming, so everyone's going to be holiday shopping. Yeah. yeah. They need to know it's good. Yep. 
I might do a, because Sephora has that rouge 20% off. So if you're a VIP <sighs> member, or I don't know if it's just rouge or what, but you get 20% off literally everything at Sephora right now. Yep, I just ordered. So I think I'm going to do a, like my must-haves, what you should order during the sale. Absolutely. I, my, I, I always get my, my perfume. I, I like, you know, I blow it up on my perfume because you get it on discount. Yeah, I say st stock up. My, my tips are stock up on all your basics. So like, uh -huh. I love the Kosas Airbrow. We're going to get three. It's 20% off. I know I'm going to use it. I know I'm going right. to do it. Stock up. No, you can place as many orders with the 20% mm -hmm. off during the period of the sale. So I've already placed one big order and probably later today I'll make another, I'll complete my other order. In a few days, I'm gonna decide, and it's easier for me to break it up like that instead of spending like $2,000 at once. Right. I'll place an order for 300, then I'll go and place another order for whatever. It just makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, and anything that you think is overpriced, utilize the sale, you guys. It doesn't matter if you have money or not. I'm not paying full price for Danessa Meyer's palette, but I just bought it on the discount. Okay, that literally yeah. that. And utilize the PayPal or whatever. They have the, like, you know, you can pay in four payments and stuff like that. Like, that's really a cool thing. And because Sephora uses PayPal. Yep, they do. I love it here. You guys know I'm all about my sales and my thrifts. Okay, we love a frugal smart shopper. Yeah, I'm the same way. I like when I can stock up, I stock up. <laughs> On all the basics and get your uh -huh. expensive items while the 20%. So like she said, I'm getting, what am I going to try? The Kaoli Vanilla 28 Perfume. That's mm -hmm. $138. Am I going to buy that when I go to the store just full price? No. I'm going to save that, what is that, $13, $16 off that. Yes. Right. Thank you. Exactly. Wait, no, $13, $13 $26. Yeah, I'm going to save that $26. Oh, I got the um, Urban Decay, the, the bundle you said that was on there. Yes. I got it. See, that's the other thing, y'all. Two full-size all-nighter setting sprays from Urban Decay. That's the part of all, they come out with them every year at holiday. Just happen to come out right before this 20% off sale. So get already discounted two bottles okay. of all nighter. Save another 20% off that. They're, it's 49, so you get 4.9. That's eight. Nine dollars and 80 cents off. So you're yep. paying $40 for two full size mm -hmm. urban decays when uh -huh. one of them is 36, 38. Throw me inside. Okay. Right? I know. I was like, when you told me, I was like, oh, I saw it on there and I put it in my cart immediately. I was like, yay, two and bottles. One, <laughs> and one thing a lot of people, a lot of people don't know this about setting sprays. Let me find a palette. Okay. So this is my palette that is out of stock right now, y'all. Lab with Fail Beauty. So let's just swatch a few colors. If you guys aren't sure, you're at the store and you're like, do I want this spray or this setting spray or this setting spray? Go swatch a palette, right? With bright colors or really pigmented colors on your on primed hand. No eyeshadow primer. Bald hand. Take that. Go over to your tester of your setting spray, whatever you're looking at. I wish. Spray it on your hand, just like this. Make sure it's good and saturated. And then just let it dry completely five minutes. And then try to wipe that eyeshadow off of your hand. That, if this will convince you that setting spray for your face is absolutely necessary and that it actually works because seeing is believing. Because there's so many options for setting sprays out there and who knows which ones really work. But I can tell you, this is how I, when I worked at Ulta, I worked there for 11 years, y'all, so I really got to know a lot of product knowledge. That's um, wild. 11 is a long time, Paul. Like, we all lived crazy lives before we all met. Like, that's just... Right. It is really crazy. Wild. You guys, Paul worked at Ulta when I had my Morphe collab, and we never met. Just put that into perspective. I was there. What did Mark... Was Mark there when you did that in Grand Rapids, that meet and greet? Yes. I'm pretty sure, because I saw your team. It was... Uh, like three dudes, maybe two ladies or four dudes and one girl. 
Um, and then Alta had their own team, and then Morphe had their own team come in because they yep. came in before the store closed to start setting up and moving things around. I'm pretty sure I saw Mark there. Um, and how cool is that? Because let's be honest, there will never be another Grand Rapids event, and there was never going to be one unless I made one and had a life there. Okay. No one was ever going to do a meet and greet there. And they were like, oh, I don't know about that. You know, the Alta, but the, you know what's cool about the Alta executives? They listened and they let me do it. I love that's that. So and that what was so what was so cool about it. You yeah. know. Very special. That's fun. I was sitting behind a customer service computer working at a biotech mm -hmm. company. Wild. Learning lots of science. Right? You never know, you guys. Right. Oh my god, Chels, we're feeling amazing, baby. We're all celebrating. We're ready for the economy to start picking back up again and for next year to just start really different. You know what's funny is we worked in cubicles. You know, you can't see on them. And mm -hmm. he would do his launches. We'd all have our screens changed to Jeffree Star Cosmetics page, like on the wait, you know, and you had to wait in line to get something. And we were yeah. all like, we were all like putting work aside and getting our freaking makeup. <laughs> it was just a different time. Okay, so it what was. did we do, Paul? I was outside with the puppies. You, you are, are showing off a setting spray? Yeah, so I'm sh teaching people how to test what setting spray they oh, need in the store and if setting sprays actually work. So I, what I used to do, go into the store, swipe some raw eyeshadow swatches on your hand, no primer, no anything, spray it with a setting spray, let it dry completely, and then try to wipe that off. Okay, that is, think of your face. That's, let me do it on the other hand for com comparison. We'll just do these three because you guys get the Okay, we're rubbing here. You can hear me rubbing. Oh, ooh. You hear me, how hard I'm pressing. And of course, I mean, it's not permanent, right? So s some of it will move, but nobody should be really rubbing their face like that. This is no setting spray, no primer. And I'm not even rubbing that hard. So if that doesn't convince you that setting sprays actually work in our do what they're made to do, especially the Urban Decay, because I love this one. But I suggest trying it with any setting spray. Grab some eyeshadow, swatch it, try the Makeup by Mario, see what works. Okay. It works, yes. And that is what it does to the makeup on your face. This is why I always use extra, because they tell you to do like an X and then down the center. No, baby, I am spraying down all the layers I just put on my face and it's it's gonna stay. So period. Nice. I learn so much all the time in here. And I just think that's smart for people to do just with any brand setting spray that you're wanting to buy, but you're not sure if it really works, do the little test and then you'll know. Do you, do you like it? The Urban Decay is my favorite. Mm-hmm, me too. And you are the reason why that's in my cart, period. Come on, influencing. Absolutely. I love that, Morgan. That really makes me happy. to. Y'all, he all told me, he's the one who told me about they had a, a double, like, dual package sale thing going right now on Sephora. Yeah, the holidays are a great time to stock up on some of your favorites or try some new products because they come out with multi-bundles of, like, deluxe sizes or whatever that allow you to try it. And especially with the 20% off right now, it's the the time to do it. I like stopped, dropped and rolled when he told me I was like, Okay, I'll be back going on Sephora. Y'all be ready on the weekend. <laughs> what about elf setting spray? Well, if you're looking for a moisturizing setting spray, that's going to be very different. So that's not going to do the same thing. The elf setting spray is more for hydration, moisture and glow for like dry skin or just that glowy, dewy, healthy look. So that's not going to perform the same way this all nighter will. It'll smudge it easier probably yep all down look how big this is <laughs> i won't show how annoying why won't it show you guys That's oh yeah it's the green screen yeah it's huge 
like a good size. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that's my hairspray. <laughs> pictures like that before, exactly. <laughs> it looks a little familiar. That looks familiar. Looks like me and Andre. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I prefer um, chocolate, you guys. Best okay. foundation for dry skin. Ooh, can I answer that? Yeah. I really think the new Patrick Ta. I know it's expensive. I was gonna say. But for normal or dry, it's so good. Um, something more affordable. I'm looking, I'm looking on my desk right now. Mm, I just think foundation is something you should invest in and get it a higher priced one. Yeah, same. I feel like it's helped my skin. For hydration, yeah. The Patrick Ta, amazing for that. Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Glow, really great for that. And especially mature skin as well. It's very similar in texture to the Laura Mercier where it's very fluid, lightweight, thin. Um, we love the Makeup Forever Hydro Glow one right here. That's what I just used. I really love that one. And then when I was in Vegas, everyone was gagging over my base and my lighting. Kevin used Makeup Forever HD foundation, the normal. Oh, oh, really? I haven't tried the normal one yet. So many people were asking, like, you look a little different. Why do you look so late? And I know he set my face with like three different powders as well. But like it's Makeup Forever HD was the base and it it fucking laid down. I'm going to try that one because I really like the glow. I, I really love the glow one. I have the original one. I only tried it once. And it just oh my God, revisit it, friend. You might be loving it. And something else real quick. So if you're, if you really have dry skin and you need something hydrating, try a hydrating primer as well. Okay. Something that's going to really glow up your skin and moisturize it before. And skincare prep is necessary. That so make number one key is prepping that skin. So use your serums, use your rich moisturizers, especially if your skin is that dry. And then go with your primer and then your foundation. Your makeup can only look as good as your skin looks, y'all. So skincare is the first step to amazing makeup. Thank you. Preach that louder. Amen. <laughs> People don't realize how important it is. I'm like, you're just going to put on foundation on your normal skin that you just rolled out of bed on? Are you fucking kidding me? How? That's okay. why every time I go live for my regulars who are always here, you always see me putting on some moisturizer. Okay. Literally, every day, vitamin and rich face base and or Amber Lease and, and, and anything else. Yes, face base. That was right here. Where did that yeah, go? I've been using this, you guys, for 10 years right here in my hands. I'm, I'll take the credit. I did make this popular. He, he's why I bought it. No one knew, no one was buying Bobby Brown makeup, let's be honest, not really at all. And their sales vastly changed. They've said thank you. And um, yeah, every year they send me about 50 of them as a thank you. And it's just special. I need to try it. I've seen it and I've never, I always forget to get it. Really, really great. I need to try it. Oh shit, I almost dropped my whole, okay, let's relax everybody. <laughs> I'm cleaning my makeup station right now. I'm like, oh my God. I was doing that yesterday. I was like throwing brushes. I'm like, oh my God, it's going everywhere. Yeah, I've been filming here in a week. I've been gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I had a lady that I worked with and she always used Bobbi Brown makeup. And I didn't know about it. It was like, you know, 10 years ago. And well, I didn't know. I didn't Estee Lauder or whoever bought them and the people kind of got me. So. Got it. I was like, I didn't, I didn't know. I was like, when she was saying Bobby Brown, I was like, the singer? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I'm screaming. Like, huh? Bobby! Bobby. But, um... Yeah, fine. <laughs> Times were really different when we were younger. People oh my God, remember that dance. damn moose. And then I'm going to say that when I started my brand, I definitely influenced about 200 other people to create brands. <laughs> And everyone wow. thought that they could do exactly what I did. And um, even Becca isn't around anymore. Hi. Bye. Bye. They all thought they could be Miss Lynn and it just wasn't the case. 
Yeah, but that only exists with Smash, that one highlighter. Campaign. Yeah. Thank you, Jacqueline. It's the only thing that exists anymore, and you can buy it from Smashbox. Deceased. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, no comment.